fellow Nigerians, before 2015, Nigeria was on the brink of collapse, and silent questions were asked. Some of the questions include, who will deliver the country from the ravine? Who will restore the sanctity of our motherland? Who will bring the nursery visitude? There came a group of people that had to demarket the devil we knew and carefully packaged a very dangerous angel we also knew. But Nigerians, being bad students of history, the elderly forgot everything about his first coming. The younger generation refused to make reference to their history book. Out of frustration, he and they were unanimously voted into power. That costly mistake exacerbated our living condition. They promised us security and gave us insecurity. They promised us good roads and gave us potholes. They promised us economic boom and gave us economic doldrums, economic quagmire, economic brouhaha, and economic yabado. They promised us steady power supply in six months and gave us total blackout. They promised to equate Naira to dollars, but they've succeeded in rendering our currency completely useless. They also promised to stabilize the global economic oil price, but that only you can tell. They promised to connect the entire country with the royal wealth system, but ended up giving it to Niger Republic. They promised us religious tolerance. Now some people can no longer practice what they believe in for the fear of persecution. They promised to unite the entire country, but ended up disuniting us. They took away our freedom of speech and coerced us to Koto in the Apoho. They promised to create jobs, but under this government, the people that were even employed got fired. So many businesses are folded up, while some investors have relocated their companies to other countries under their watch. They promised massive investment in the education sector. Today, both academic and non-academic staff of universities are on strike. While some students have gotten married, others are involved in other forms of antisocial behaviors just for survival. While children of the political class are either schooling in private tertiary institutions within the country or schooling abroad. So sad. Our health sector is nothing to write home about. As our beloved president travels almost on a quotidian basis for medical tourism in London and other countries of his choice. Today in our motherland, bandits, militants, Boko Haram, Iswap, cattle rustlers, illegal miners, etc. now operate audaciously and unabated. Dear Nigerians, the same oil that was discovered in United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Russia, etc., and the proceeds evenly distributed for the common good of the citizenry was also discovered here in Nigeria. But both the crude oil and the process of the little that have been sold have all been stolen, while they monkey about the whole world looking for where to borrow money from. My people, it is on the above premise that I, Comrade Titus Jonathan, have decided to step forward to contest for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on a political platform that will soon be made known to the general public. My agenda, immediate declaration of state of emergency in the education sector, security of lives and property will remain my government's topmost priority. Federal roads will be accorded the needed attention within the first two years of my administration. My administration will focus on the rehabilitation and construction of railway system in the country within the first four years in office. Police reform is long overdue, and my government will accord that due attention. Strengthening of our anti-corruption institutions, such as EFCC and the ICPC, to guarantee their independence. Immunity of elected political office holders is a fraud against the citizenry. My government will sponsor an executive bill to put a stop to it. Those with disabling conditions will also be fully integrated into my government. Construction of roads and other public structures must be designed to favor those with special need conditions. Lastly, every Friday evening and party throughout to ease the stress, the narratives must change. God bless Mbaren in local government area. God bless the Aquabum state of Nigeria. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That's all.